Hello, what's up? We're back again here. And uh, on this video, what we're going to be doing is uh, since we got the basic shape of our blade, we're going to go ahead uh, and grind all the scale off and we're going to shape it out, put a point on it, and get it to where it needs to be and get it ready for its quench. And then from there, we're going to move on to uh, putting on a handle, shaping a handle, and uh, getting ready for shipment to the client. And uh, so, here we go, let's begin. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead and put a, uh, a nice uh, finish and grind down uh, this blade, uh, making it look like an actual functioning blade. And from there, uh, we can do whatever we want with it. But I got the, a vise right here and this is a flat vise this is the one I use for my um, drill press but I, I almost have it permanently placed here in my sanding area and uh, <coughs> I hold it together with uh, two blocks of wood and these aren't just like regular blocks of wood I have these on a, uh, a bias like that I cut them both so whenever I put in smaller objects like this like the tang on here it since I do have it like that, when I squish it together, it actually pushes down on it, and makes a nice grip in there. For other angles, like when I put this in there sideways like that, I'll have to flip it up so it's on a flat edge, like one of these edges, and it'll just clamp it together. It won't push down and put pressure on here, so when I have a nice fine edge, it's not uh, you know dulling the blade, chipping it, or cracking it, or anything like that. It keeps it suspended nice. Um, you want to copy something like this it's cool if not you know get your own but that's what we're going to do and we're going to be using these right here now this is really cool because i bought these not too long ago and i've been dying to use them i just haven't really found a a good reason to so it came with this uh, attachment that i've used on my drill press before and uh, you just simply just take these and you twist them on there and you go to town and I never really understood how to use the scotch Bright pads. I don't have a belt or anything like that. But um, from a couple of other videos I've seen, they've used them for uh, taking off scale. And this has a, uh, it goes from 120 to, uh, no, it goes from 80, 120, and 240. All these different sanding. It's set for polishing, but it doesn't work worth a heck for polishing at all. It actually puts more squirrel marks in it and uh, no matter what, you're gonna still spend six to eight hours in sanding. And uh, so we're gonna try it here on uh, the basic grayscale here that you get from the forge and see what happens there. But 80 grit sandpaper, an electric belt, yeah, that'll probably work.
as you can see, the quench went well, but when I pulled it out and took a closer look at it, the one side had delaminated completely. But that's okay. We'll figure it all out next time. You win some, you lose some. It's what you do with that loss is what's important in life. Be sure to like and subscribe. And go ahead and leave a comment down there. Alright? Have a great day.